forget about cookies, and now I would appreciate some baked goods from Rambo. I, think I got Ray, a feeling Ray's he's got everybody hungry. Oh yeah, he's he's good with an oven. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, but uh, something that Ben talked a little bit about is he said he spoke to Pacento. They're going to bring out some interesting stuff. One thing of note, uh, maybe if you want to just jump on with Naga Fan real quick, see what he's using. So uh, in the online tournament against uh, Optic Nation, he pulled out an LMG, and it really kind of threw Optic Nation off. They didn't really know what to do. It's going to be interesting to see if TR goes to that. All right, well, we'll keep on with TR for a little bit here just through this first hill, see what they can get rolling. Down just a couple of points here early on is actually Control has been pretty much dominated by Denial. So let's get eyes on with them. Replay is able to clean up one. Another one across and to his left. Looks like he's going to rotate back. He's worried about the flank there from pull, but you can see via the minimap, no action really coming his way. So I'll switch it up to Clay. One pushing him. Not going to be able to win that gunfight. Good use of verticality there by the player from TR. JCap able to get one. Has two more in front. Makes it a two-piece. Can he get the third to his left? Make it three. No, JCap will fall. Not able to win the gunfight. Hill currently contested. Cap still starting off extremely hot. Five and one. First hill very early, but something to note, Clay 0-3, and you saw him playing from inside the hill in that first hard point. If you are a Denial fan, a Clayster fan, that's not the type of positioning you want to see him in. You want to see Clay playing further back with an assault rifle, just taking out players off spawns and off cuts. And I don't know what just happened. I switched to replays because he was first one in, and he was one watching that back flank kind of for this hill. He got the kill. Then rotated out. His teammate rotated up top as well, and two players just flooded in from behind. He took eyes off of it, and now they've lost complete control of this second hill. You have to be aware of the minimap. I mean, when you're replays and you're in the hill and you're looking towards your right, you turned around to look towards poolside when your teammates are spawning up over on poolside. Yeah. They're clearly not going to be coming from that direction. And he just got the kill. I mean, his job there was to hold that backside, yeah. and to both players there just giving it up. J-Cap, though, able to get a two-piece here in the hard point. You see a guy pushing him from wall, able to get hit marker there with the nade, picks up the assist shots coming in with the bow another assist for him the other player has to back down i mean you're you're for denial you're kind of lucky right there i mean you can afford to make mistakes like that when you have players like cap and attach playing you know very well you know j cap starting off nine and three attach nine and seven putting a lot of pressure on the hills that's what you're going to need to see out of them but i don't know if they win you know if they win this series or they go on farther in the tournament if clay is not playing the way he played at season one champs he played phenomenal at that event so top, in S &D, top five player, arguably. Yeah, uh, you top five say. player from yeah. that event. I think they need that kind of player out of play if they're going to go far in this event. All right, well, Naga's been able to pick up two. Facento gets one as well. One player remaining. That's going to be Clay. Together, they're able to take out the entire side of Denial. The comeback is in progress. They're down about 15 right now. Seven and a half left to go. This has been a fantastic hill here for TR. Another two-piece. No, not going to lose that gunfight there to attach. Remy, though, coming in to clean up. He's got players who are going to be pushing him from his right. They're all flooding into the hill right now. This will be a big engagement. But honestly, with 15 seconds left, the team that drops here and loses this fight probably is going to rotate. Yeah, they're going to rotate if they lose this engagement, which it looks like it's going to go in favor of Denao. I expect TR to rotate, and you see that on the mini-map. And I think the big engagements on that hill was actually, uh, you know, seen in the kill feed. It was Pacento. Two players from Denao had spawned in cave. Pacento was able to win both of those gun battles by an extra, you know, five to ten seconds for TR. And, and here here's the LMG I was talking about, yeah. You mentioned it, he's able to get two, get an assist on one, he'll eventually drop, but already starting to do a little bit of work outside. And that gun, you know, usually you'll see it kind of hold, uh, that player will be the AR player looking over it with a bow, but that gun just as effective, if not more effective, when you see the lay in fire for the constant flood that's coming outside, Matt. The Ameli is a very difficult gun to go against. We saw Fizzurp use it to perfection in their first round matchup for SB. You're going to need to see Denal make an adjustment here, whether it's, you know, they're going to throw more stunts, push this player more aggressively, or they're going to you know, really just kind of attack him from the sides. They need, they can't run at him straight up because it's going to result the same way, you know, in favor of TR as it did at SB. And you see TR, they're making a comeback right now. Denal not adjusting to that LMG setup. Well, the big thing they need, we talked about it, Clay right now 9-14. I mean, he's right. told me he is a top AR player in this game, and he really is. But this is a game, specifically this game this, mode, you need to go off with the AR. This team does not win without getting numbers out of Clay. Yeah. He's their player that needs to stay back and just rack up kills and make the job easier for Attach and Cap. And you see, you know, Attach got off to a really good start. We talked about it. Now, 11 and 19, because his job is even more difficult when Clay is not, you know, really performing at that level. So those players, I would say their stats are kind of tied to each other. 
Well, let's see, the player in the hill right now for Denials is going to end up being replays. We're watching him. He's got these back steps. It's going to be awkward. The timing there might not work out. He might actually end up being a fight, but no, there's a teammate behind. They go with a tactic, able to get one. Headshot there from replays. He's one shot, though. Can he get this one as well? No, going to fall. Facinto counters with the headshot of his own. Clay trying to get aggressive now into the hill. He's got one in front. Teammate cleans that up. Able to get the second, though. Third, not able to line it up. And this one is basically all tied up as we're going to get ready to hop into the second side of rotations, Matt. And I think this is the difference you really see between Clay and, I would say, you know, two of the other better ARs in the game. I would say, you know, uh, let's say Slasher and Formal, those two other ARs. You really hardly see those players get in the hill when I talk about Slasher and Formal. Clay likes to play aggressive in the hill, but sometimes that backfires and plays against his team. You're going to need Cap and Attach to win most of their gunfights, and they're going to be harder gunfights than usual if Clay is going to be pushing that hill. And that was a really good job by Remy. They were three down. He was last alive. He cleared out the final player in the hill before he fell. So it prevented Denial from rallying. Probably would have got about 10 to 15 points there. Instead, halted it just a bit for his players to come off spawn. That's two down right now for either side. Replay is going to drop. Remy is going to be your man on the hill with Aqua, though. They've got control right now. They're starting to mount a little bit of a lead here. Up eight. And this has been a great comeback because they were down, what, 40 or so early? Then they weren't down too bad. It was, I know that first hill they had a rough time, but after that, the game's pretty much been all TR. I mean, you really want to talk about it. After that first hill, and then the start of the second hill when replays, uh, they got fortunate he was looking the wrong way. The players came from the other. You know, after those two hills have been dominated by TR, and I think the story of this is, is they really need Clay to start slaying your scenes. Picking things up 21 and 20 now, you're going to have to see Attach really pick it up. 19, 28, forcing tons of engagements. He needs to win most of those battles, though. And uh, Remy was that first one in the back. He was going to drop, though. And wow, they had two players in early from TR. But everyone just get rolled out of the hill. Clay is going to have to win some gunfights, and that's big. He's able to get two. His teammate should be able to clean up this fire and final player. But he's actually still alive. Who was it? That was Nakathen, who somehow managed to survive with that back turtle statue as long as he did. Remy flooding in now. Attach going to win that gunfight. Time mounting here a bit by bit for Denial, trying to tie this one up again. And God, this has been so back and forth, especially over these final couple hills. And you can see as Clay playing a little bit better, Attach starting to heat up. You know, it's so easy to win those gun battles. I don't want to say it's so easy, but it's a lot easier. Yeah. You know, when players are just sprinting at you, able to win those engagements from the hill. He was having a tough time winning the ones on the run to get those intro kills, but now doing a very nice job. 25-31, starting to bring it back a bit. All right, it's going to be rotation time though. Look, the, it actually worked out the final couple deaths. They spawn basically right at the next hard point. So it's going to be Aqua and crew set up in and around its next hill. Big kill from Nagafen. Got the rotation coming from pull. You see via the COD vision, the rest are going to be coming from mid-map. He's got a good setup in here. There's three players, one outside. That outside player is going to get picked by out. Attach. Attach gets two. He's going ham right now trying to take over this hill. If you were TR right there, you needed to push out. As soon as your player dies at pool rock, that is the biggest spot of the map on this hill to contest. You needed to put another player out there because you see to now they're going to get that back spawn, going to be favorable in their possession, and they're going to be able to control this hill. Yeah, it was that player, whoever was outside at pool, if he could have held that off a little bit longer, they might have gotten set up, but it was attached that came in, picked up two, I think even three kills to break that and get that favorable spawn in the back. They're still getting decent spawns here. The poolside rush coming in right now from TR. Let's see if they can hold it up. They're currently up eight points, just over two to play. I got a feeling this one's coming down to the final seconds. Back. This one's going to come down to the wire, and I want to see on this bottom hill. TR really came back, started to make a run here when it went to the bottom hill in that first rotation. Is Nagafen going to switch that LMG? off spawn again. He's obviously holding we'll down that out. time in the last one. We'll see if he dies. We'll go back with him on the respawn, see if he's going to switch over to that LMG because he really dominated that bottom hill with it. And here it is again. All right. He should have eyes on cap. Shots coming in. Able to get one. Let's see. He's going to line them up here. There's two. Third in the back. Hit markers coming in, trying to get as many players as weak as he can for his team. Just giving Remy. Oh, he actually took out Remy after yeah. he assisted he, on a couple of them. He's doing a great job locking it down, but his subs are not getting any pressure on the hill. You're going to see, I believe, Aqua, the last one alive for TR. He's going to be pushed into the hill. He's going to be taken out right away. So Remy doing a nice job clearing out lanes. Just his SMG is not able to win any battles. I think that's definitely a testament to the way oh, JCap oh, is oh. playing right now. Cap absolutely going massive for denial. When a lot of the other players were kind of you know, slowing down, having up and down games, Cap's been playing strong all throughout. Yeah, he got four.
four in a row there, just helping his team really try to pull away in this one. But despite the fact that we saw the slaying coming in from Cap, we still have ourselves a five-point game. Hey. Final hill coming. TR, they have that rotation to that final hill. So we're going to be tied going into the last 50 seconds here, Maeve. These initial gun battles are going to be huge. Nobody from TR pushed out on pool wall. So very interesting to see they're giving up that much space to Denial. That's two down for Denial, though. Keeping eyes on with Aqua as he's going to be the man getting points right now. He saw attached, dive across. Let's see if he can pick that up. Gets one. Checking his back step, sees another. Melee's been, oh. oh, somehow the sick hip fire there. Able to pick up that player as well. Two up right now for TR. They're trying to hold this up. 25 seconds left. They've got a 10-point lead. Denial Denial's got to break this, Matt. TR's going to have to break once here, and they're running out of time. 19 seconds left. It looks like Denial almost able to tie it up. Replay is going to drop. Players contesting for TR in the hill. It's going to be capped. He's going to be able to take out one. Too many players from TR. 10 seconds left. That's looks it. like they're going to be able to flood this That's hill it. and control it here at the end. And we were talking. We thought this could be a good series, maybe. You see Pacento. He is getting hyped down there for Team Revenge. And Coming out right there for that TR. I think wow. Nagafen with that LMG on the bottom hill, they only used it on those two, yep. but it definitely changed the game. He was able to open up the lanes for the subs, and that's where they were able to make most of their time on both of those. Well, really, it, for me, it came down. You, know, you see, like, 20, 20, all right. All right, all right let's talk about that for a second. Yeah, yeah.